Initially, I didn't think about making this into a product, uh, but I presented the research at the conference and then the Swedish biotech company approached us afterwards and said that we should really try to make this into something where we could really treat the patients in the end. And that was the start of our innovation journey. My name is Marika Lester and I'm a researcher at Uppsala University at the Department of Immunology, Genetics and Pathology. We have developed a cancer targeting antibody that binds to thyroid cancer cells in the body. And to this antibody we're attaching a small radionuclide and then we use the antibody to transport the radioactivity to the cancer cells. Then you will have a local radiotherapy where the cancer cells are in the body. Once we realized that this research could have a huge clinical impact, that's when we contacted the innovation office in order to discuss with them if they thought that this could become a product, if there's something here that we could patent and how to really make this journey from innovation to implementation. The innovation office also checked if there is freedom to operate and they had different business courses and they could also give us some funding in order for us to validate our project. The initial antibody that we had used was produced uh, with a company where we had exclusive access to the antibody. And when we realized that this could become a product uh, to bring into the clinic, we contacted the company. And uh, they flew from London the same day, came into the office, they wouldn't even sit down, they wouldn't even have the cinnamon rolls that I had bought. Uh, they just told us that there is no way you can use this in the clinic, you're not allowed to, to bring this for therapy, to do anything, because they were bound by agreements of their own. So there was really no way that we could use this antibody for anything else but just research. So that really took us back to square one. So now what? Uh, but this is when we contacted the drug discovery and development platform at Scilab Lab because this is really what they were there for, to help Swedish researchers discover and develop products that can reach the market. Um, and we could use some of our previous research data to put together a really solid application and it got accepted. The collaboration with the DDD platform, it really is a collaboration. You don't just order an antibody and you get it after a year, but you have intense discussions where you are formulating the questions and what you need and really putting all these bits and pieces together in order to get something that can be a product at the end and not just an antibody for research use. Another big advantage with the DDD platform is that they are using IP-free libraries and all the research belongs to the PI, to the researcher. So there is really no problem with patents or any fine print that will tell you that you're not allowed to use this antibody for therapy or in the clinic. During this project, we developed a lot of different antibodies and we tested different formats and we improved their binding characteristics to really you know, tailor them to our needs. And we also made sure that they could be stored or frozen and scaled up in production. So it was quite an extensive process to go all the way until we had our candidate drug in the end. When we approached an exit at the Scilife Lab, we could discuss a lot of things with the innovation office. For example, then how to best form a company and what strategy we should have to bring in capital to the company. We got funding for patent application and for market analysis, and we could do pitch training and really discuss how to bring in the capital to the company. Because we do need money uh, in order to do the, the quality control production of the antibody to be able to give this to the patients in the clinic. The dream really is to make a difference for the patients in the end. And it has been an amazing process to see this project going all the way from basic research to all these development and now we're planning for clinical studies. So to get it into the patients in the end and making a difference, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm.